Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to remove logos from your photos. When supplying images to Veer, it's very important to remove all brands and logos from your files. Any copyright or trademark infringements can actually cause a lot of problems for our customers. So I'm going to show you how we can use Photoshop to remove these brands and logos. Uh, the first thing that we need to do whenever we're making any retouch or any alterations is make a duplicate of our, our background or our original layer. So I'm going to go up to Layer, I'm going to go to Duplicate, and I'm just going to call this one Retouch just to help us differentiate between the two. The next thing that we need to do is go in at 1 or 200% to sort of view the logo that we want to remove and uh, get a, a closer look at it. So I'm going to zoom into the, the file now. The first logo I'm going to focus on is the Apple logo on the on the laptop. And the tool that I'm going to use to remove this is a, a relatively new tool to Photoshop, but it's been out since the uh, CS versions, which is the patch tool. And it's just below the eyedropper and just hidden within the menu there is the patch tool. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to circle the logo that we wish to remove. And what the next step is to find an area that's clear that doesn't have any flaws or blemishes and drag that selection so that we're patching over the brand. It just takes a few seconds for Photoshop to, to make the move. And I'm just going to hit Command D or uh, Control D on a PC to remove the, the marquee just so that we can see the selection that we've made or the alteration that we've made. And I'm just going to click on the preview on our retouch layer and just bring the the uh, the layer to the front and back. I'm also going to look at this at 200% and just zoom in at, a, at one more level and just sort of, again, preview it and make sure that we haven't missed anything or that there's no flaws that sort of came out of the alteration. I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is focus on our, our next retouch, which is the, the branded shirt. And as you can see, he has a logo right here. And of course, we need to remove this as well. And then the tool that I'm going to use this time is a tool that's just below the, the brush tool, and it's the clone stamp tool. And this acts a little bit different than the, um, the patch tool in that we're not dragging an area over to replace or patch over the logo. We're looking to paint over the logo. So what we need to do is basically look at the options that we have for our brush, make sure that we have a good size and that we do have our hardness at 25 or lower. It's always good to have a, a bit of a, a softness when you are doing these kind of edits, just to make the, the transition a little bit more natural. The next step is to uh, choose an area that you wish to sample from so that you can start painting over the logo. So I'm gonna do an option click or alt on a PC to select this area down here and now I'm just going to come up into this area and I'm just going to quickly paint over the area. As you can see below, there's a little crosshair and that's basically showing you where we're sampling from. And again, I'm just going to do a, a quick before and after to make sure that the logo has been removed. And again, zooming in at 100% or 200% to see the change. Again, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see any remnants of the logo and there's no artifacting. So the next thing that we're going to do is zoom out full frame. Now we're finally going to assess the last logo, which is up on the temple of the sunglasses or on the eyeglasses here. Um, again, like I said, some logos are small, but we still need to make sure that we take the care to remove each and every one of them. With this one, we could use the stamp tool and we could just make our, our brush a little bit smaller and we can go into this area and maybe sample from here and try to paint in. Now this is semi-effective, but you can see that I'm starting to sample in a little bit more of the edge of the glasses. So I'm gonna go Command Z to remove that and I'm going to select a different tool. This time I'm gonna go back to the tool that we had used to remove the Apple logo, which was the patch tool. I'm gonna select that again and I'm gonna circle the Oakley logo. Now again, you can see if we drag this off into this area, again, I have this area where um, there's not enough um, sample or area to patch from. And if I go off to this side, you can see that I have a hard line in the middle. Again, this isn't a great area to sample from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down into a skin. It does have a different hue, but the texture and the pixel density is very similar. I'm just gonna release and hitting Command-D or Control-D on a PC, 
I'm going to remove the marquee, and you can see that the uh, the edit that we've made is very natural. It looks very similar to the background, and and the color didn't change. This is because the patch tool has a little bit of intelligence to it, and it does recognize the original layer which we were looking to patch to, to and it does uh, recognize and, and honor that color. So um, even though we did pull it into the skin tone and it was a different hue, because the pixel and the density was very similar, we were able to use that to patch over the logo. Again, I'm just going to use the preview tool to uh, sort of show you before and after. Again, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that logo. So I'm just going to zoom out at full frame. And again, just using preview, we can check uh, the the logos once again, and you can see the the Apple logo, the the branded T-shirt, and again the the brand on the eyeglasses. And I'm just going to uh, enable our uh, retouch layer again, and as you can see, all those brands are gone. And that's it. We're done. I hope this has been helpful, and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.